climate change isn't something just for Jamaica, it's global. Climate change is also not something that is going to be here today, gone tomorrow. It's something that's a long-term thing. This is something that uh, even if we stop today, the effects will still be felt for the next century at least. So this is something that has a very long um, time and spatial component. So we need to understand and appreciate that dimension of the whole issue. Ominous words for thousands of Jamaicans, many of whom live along the coast. Sea level rise and coastal erosion, similar to what is happening in Alligator Pond, are affecting dozens of other locations around Jamaica. In Alligator Pond, the problem is more critical than in other areas, simply because of where the people live. People now live on the sand dunes, large sand dunes, the largest sand dunes in any way in Jamaica. People now live on them. They recreate, they do economic activities on these sand dunes. The dunes should provide sand to replenish the beach, but the people here fear that their houses and businesses are slowly being swallowed by the sea, so they have taken measures to protect themselves. But should climate change and its impact, very visible here in Alligator Pond, cause people across Jamaica to reassess where they choose to spend millions of dollars to live? Director of Mona Geoinformatics, Dr. Paris Liao Ayi, says yes, but he said everything cannot be moved from the coast. There are critical facilities that absolutely have to be by the coast. Ports, for example, absolutely have to be by the port, by the by the by the sea. But in other cases, our tourism product is so heavily dependent on sand and sea. So these things clearly have to be by the by the by the shore. However, there are ways to sensibly build these structures that are climate resilient and, 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 and practical at the same time. In designing new developments along the coast, we have to accommodate for set, setting back buildings. So that is one of the functions of NEPA and its planning regime that we look at in the context of sea level rise, climate change. The other proposal is for the government to declare no build zones. But given that climate change does not affect only coastal areas, where is the best place in Jamaica to live? You have inland inland areas that are away from rivers, many different many different types of places that are ideal to live in. The 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 problem that we we face as it relates to planning climate um, issues is that it does not uh, get us away from earthquake issues, which is not climate related. So you could move somewhere that is protected or safe from those types of climate related conditions and then boom, you're in the middle of an earthquake zone or something like that. An uh, earthquake is obviously a larger scale than, you don't even have to be sitting on top of an epicenter to, to really be felt by an earthquake. He said there is nowhere in Jamaica that is completely immune, but knowing the conditions in which one is going to live should influence how one's house is built. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.